Hey, Richard Knudsen here again, and welcome to another video edition of the Dynamic CRM Trick Bag. Now, in this demonstration, I want to show you one of two relatively straightforward customizations you can use in Dynamic CRM 4.0 to implement what's often referred to as a record cloning function. Now, as the term implies, cloning a record involves making a copy of it. And I'll use the opportunity record type to illustrate why you might want to do this. Here's an existing opportunity record with a lot of field values filled in. Now notice the topic refers to a milestone one, implying there are other milestones. Well, suppose for this project, I need to invoice for each milestone, and then I've got twice monthly milestones for each of the next three months. Each of these milestones might be treated as a sales opportunity, and each one will contain almost all the same field values as all the others but not exactly. So it's going to be a lot easier if I have some way of copying these records and changing only the field values I need to change rather than creating each one from scratch. That's really why you might want to clone records in the first place. So that's the why. I'll now talk about the how. The approach I'll take here exploits an important new and somewhat geeky sounding feature of Dynamic CRM 4, so-called self-referential entity relationships. Now, what this really means is that you can create one-to-many or parent-child relationships between records of the same type. So the first step will be to add a new one-to-many relationship between opportunity records. We'll create a self-referential relationship there. And after I do that, the second step will be to map fields between the parent and child records in this relationship. Now, what mapping does is to automatically populate data fields on a child record with values from the corresponding field on the parent record. As you'll see, this really gives us our cloning feature. Okay, so here's how you do this. I'll we'll click on Settings, Customization, Customize Entities, and I'll find the Opportunity Entity and customize it. And once I've got the Opportunity Entities customization form open, I'll click on One-to-Many Relationships, and remember I said we need to add a new one-to-many relationship from opportunity to opportunity. This is the new self-referential relationship feature in Dynamic CRM 4. So after clicking new one-to-many relationship, I come in here to the new relationship dialog. And I see the primary entity is opportunity because we were on the opportunity entity when we selected this. And I simply select opportunity for the related entity. I'll give it a better name. Parent-child opportunity is one that I like. Now, this relationship attribute, uh, if you want a little bit of intuition for this, think of this as the lookup. This is the display name of the lookup field that will appear on the child record. You don't have to have that lookup, as you'll see, on the form, in this case, the opportunity form. But if you do, then it should probably say parent opportunity. And notice the, the name, this is the schema name in the database actually, this is metadata stored in Dynamics CRM SQL Server database, um, gets filled in automatically. So parent opportunity ID is a pretty good name for that. Everything else I can simply accept the defaults for. If I click Save, I've now created the new self-referential relationship from opportunity to opportunity. Now we'll be able to create parent-child records, and I can create my mappings right from here. And remember, the mappings is what will let us fill in the fields on those child records that we create from the context of the parent record. Now, I'm in the mappings area, and I simply click New. And one way to create mappings is to go through painstakingly and identify which of these fields from the parent record I want to map, that is, pre-populate with the corresponding value of the field from the parent record. I can do this one by one if I want to, but there's an alternative approach that actually works better in this scenario here, which is to select the More Actions menu and choose this Generate Mappings choice. Normally I don't do this, but in this case it works out pretty well. If we use this choice, Dynamic CRM will map, in this case, every field from opportunity to opportunity. 
because every field matches. This is probably about the only place that I want to do this, but in this self-referential case, it actually works pretty well. So I'll go ahead, rather than map the fields individually myself, I'll have dynamic CRM generate the attribute mappings. It'll map every field. Then I can simply save and close. And I'll go ahead and save and close from the opportunity customization form. And once those customizations are published, we're ready to see how this works. So here we are back looking at opportunities again. And I'll open my milestone one opportunity. And now I see in the details area here, I have a child opportunities tab available. And I click it, then I click new opportunity. And when the new opportunity form is opened, you can see that all of the values on the fields from the parent opportunity record are pre-filled here. So now all I have to do is change a couple of things about this child record, such as in this case, maybe the delivery date from 9-1 to 9-15. And I can save and close. And now I can create a second child opportunity and enter only the information that will have changed here. So a 10-1 delivery date, milestone three, save and close. So now you can see I've got my cloning feature pretty much done. So if you ever find yourself needing to create several records of the same type with many of the same field values, this will definitely save you some time. Now I mentioned earlier that this is one of two easy customization approaches you can use to clone records. The other one is a workflow approach, which I show in another demonstration. And I hope you let me know which one of these two approaches you prefer. Richard Knutson signing off, and I hope you found this helpful.